massage and she said Lisa you know you really have to write your story and I said wow this journey because you're such an inspiration and you're so graceful moving through this you know difficult time and 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 you could really help people by telling your story and you've got to share it with the world whoa <laughs> and I told her about this vision that I was having woo -woo -woo. and then the story goes a little further woo woo with a very extremely unfortunate event four years later Sally fell off her bicycle and ended up with quadriplegia Hmm. We would talk and cry and laugh, and I would get the idea for the next letter and go home and write it. And so that has become a manuscript, which is as yet not published, and it is in fact hiding in my filing co um, cabinet. So, But it's fully edited, and it's ready to go, and what is it that stops us creatives from taking that next step? But the, hmm. I did... And then the most recent part of the story is Sally passed away mm. a couple of years. Well, actually, right around the time of me returning from Iceland and experiencing the breakup of my relationship, mm. Sally died. And it was quite um, an incredible experience. Again, she was just an incredible, incredible human being. And, um, and I actually promised her on her deathbed that I would get this book published. And she had started, you know, with quadriplegia, she had started watercolor painting and um, her assistants would put elastic band uh, or a hair tie around her hand holding the paintbrush to her hand mm -hmm. and she would paint with that and so she created this incredible body of work I had really no idea how extensive her work was so another darling friend of hers um, decided to mount an art show uh, posthumously and I presented the letters to Sally as a dramatic reading mm. at that show I did two different readings of it and it was very moving and very powerful and um, of course being the songwriter that I am there are songs interwoven into the text of the book so my um, my dream is to have it published as a book with an accompanying download or physical CD because there's some powerful songs on there about mm. healing and, you know, some of them are just more like chants. Uh, one of them says, um, I am healing, I am healing, I am healing, and I feel the joy, I feel the joy. I feel the joy, I feel the joy, and I am healing. Mm. It's got a few verses like mm. that, feeling the peace and feeling the love, and yeah. It's so, gotta, yeah, you got to have it, <laughs> definitely. Got to do it. <laughs> yes. Do you think we all have an artist inside of us? Absolutely, I do. Oh. Yes. And it could come in so many different forms, that creative genius that we all have inside of us. You know, it might be how you decorate your house. It might be how you cook your food for your family. It might be how you dance, whether it's professionally or for your own joy of it, you know. Absolutely. Any advice for future musicians, songwriters, singers? <laughs> Any advice? Um, I would say sing for the pure joy of it. Play your music for the absolute joy that it brings you. Um, and, you know, if it becomes a grind, then do your best to find that spark of joy because it's there. It's what got us going. And for me, when I forget, I go into nature and I find it again right away. Um, where can people connect with you online? Online, <laughs> you can find me at www.lisamax.com and that's Lisa Max with two X's, M-A-X-X -X, or www.thesingingamma, A M M A, which is Icelandic for grandmother, thesingingamma.com. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm also on Facebook um, under both of those titles, The Singing Emma and Lisa Max. And I also have a Facebook page called Beyond Disability. Hmm. So, yeah. And for me, that is let's find that light and that joy and that spark of life and, you know, look beyond the disability in somebody to the ability that we all have. In fact, I spell it D-I-S dash capital A-B-I-L-T-Y. Mm. And you've certainly <laughs> proven that you're more than this rheumatoid disease. You've pushed yes. through. You've pushed through. Your art yeah. has helped you. The art has pulled me through for <laughs> sure. Absolutely, creativity has been my saving grace. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Very inspirational. Thank you. And the final question: Why does art matter? Why does art matter? Mm. Because, yeah. It's the heart and soul of humanity. Mm. It brings joy. It brings light. It guides us. It supports us through the darkest times. I mean, I have walked through a few dark times in my life, mm. and it has kept me above water. Absolutely. And here you are. It's living proof. You made it here. and Yeah. And I'm, you know, after 25 years of extreme pain and disability and, uh, you know, all the losses and everything, I'm more joyful now than I think I've ever been in my life. Hmm. <laughs> so, and, and, I, and that's, you know, a big part of that is, is letting the creativity flow and having it guide me for sure. For sure. It's because your art matters. <laughs> Absolutely. Because art matters. Yeah. Your music matters. So keep doing what you're doing. And uh, definitely it's an inspiration to me. And I know it'll be inspiration for anybody listening to this, especially anybody suffering with rheumatoid disease, as we'll call it. Thank you. And, you know, in the letters to Sally, I intentionally didn't say what I live with or what she lived with because disability and you know it can come in a lot of different forms that's why my art matters all right well thank you very much for being a guest on the show thank you so much Alex it's been a real pleasure to be here and to chat with you okay well there you go like I said Audio problems, I don't know why they existed and this, why it would be good for the first 30 minutes or so and all of a sudden it just went crazy there. But she moved to different rooms. We disconnected and reconnected. So I hope you enjoyed it no matter what. Hopefully this never happens to me again. She does live in Canada. Uh, I don't know if there's something going on with the Aurora Borealis. I don't know if it goes in that area. But uh, you never know. Still, I'm inspired, and I hope you were too, that she found a way to use an iPad using GarageBand, which just so happens to be the program I used to record all these episodes on. It's great. She found a way. And if she can, I know you can. I mean, she's having, she has a physical disease that affects her body and she's made it through it as best she can she did not give up and that's one of the hardest things is how far could you push yourself what else do you have left in you you can be surprised just how capable you are I mean, this body we have may have some physical limitations but your spirit is only limited by what you believe you can and can't do. Remember that. There's a lot that can be done. And if she can do it, you can. That's a great inspirational message on this day of all days. So thanks for listening. And uh, if you want to look out 
For more ways to connect with Lisa, go, of course, to theartistreallymatters.com and check out all the links to her social medias and websites and purchase her music. I think I'm going to have to listen to this whole album. Just the two songs I listened to on SoundCloud were really good. So thank you one and all for being a part of The Artist Matters. It's great having you here and supporting these artists. And if you're an artist who is interested in sharing your story, reach out to me. love to have you on the show. So until next time, this is me, Alex Rudy, saying, no matter where you go, let your creativity flow. Let your creativity flow.